Hello everyone, Emily here, just popping in with a quick, quick um, farm update. Um, so I tried to get a video out last week, Sunday today, but we've had quite a bit of rain. The rain started on um, Tuesday afternoon and then we've had a fair bit of rain since then. Uh, we're well over 200 mils now. So we managed to get a heap of Celosia, um, Gumfrina and also some Basil um, picked before the rain came in on, I think that must have been Wednesday morning we picked it, because we were in town Tuesday morning. So we managed to get some of that picked because it needed, um, see it there? Needed picking anyway, and I thought I needed to get in and do it before the rain started because I knew there was rain forecast for like a week. So we're potentially going to get rain until Tuesday, so it's Sunday today. So I'm not sure when I'll be getting back out in the garden to do too much. Um, I might try, it's pretty windy at the moment, but I might try to take it out and just show you what's what the garden's looking like. Um, Yesterday when I went for a walk around in one of the breaks, it was um, quite wet. I've got like, um, as you would have seen in when I'm doing the tours or whatever, um, there's like dips where my walkways are. So I've got the beds raised up. Um, so the water was like sitting in all those um, walkways nearly up level to the top of the beds. Not quite, thankfully. Um, and then in where the dahlias are, that's actually a higher spot, but it was actually had water sitting in there as well. So I'm hoping, hoping the dahlias are okay. Um, if it was only a couple of days, I wouldn't be worried, but because we're potentially going to be having cloudy wet weather until Tuesday, which will be like a week of rain nearly. Yeah, hopefully, because hopefully they're okay. Because the where they are in that soil is quite heavy um it stays moist for quite a while but in saying that the water does once the rain stops the water does um drain away pretty quickly anyway hopefully it will be all okay um yeah so i haven't been able to do too much other than a bit of seed starting i've got some i'll show you in a second some out in the shed here that are up. This is just a couple of trays of um, sunflowers I've got in. But yeah, I'll show you. So this is the Selway purple. I've got like four bunches there. Um, and then some of the white and then the gumfrina. Some more gumfrina up there. Basil, some more basil here. Oh, that's bad light. And this is some um, status we hung up ages ago and then i've got this container here full of status and then in the next room which is a big mess this is my old flower room we've got grain in here because i um, bought grain home for the cows on tuesday and it rained on the way home so it got wet so we're trying to dry it out and then you see in here there's a heap more gumfrina and a little bit of basil um but yeah, that was only like a third of the roll of gumfrina that we picked. And then out here, I've got, it's just starting to rain again now. We had a break last night and this morning, but the rain's coming in again now. Um, this is some plants. I usually have them out on the rack out in the garden, but because it's raining so much, I've got them here so they can still get good light, but they're not getting rained on all the time. So this is um, Cosmos, Candy Stripe, and, oh, tags were missing on this one. Um, I wonder where it's gone. Anyway, and then um, some more status, some marigolds, some double dazzler sunflowers. And those are like sunflowers I saved seeds myself, but didn't get great germination. Um, and then the uh, mice got some still. And this is flamingo feather, Celosia, and just a few veggies. And I'm starting some tomatoes, some chilies, and some capsicums. So 
So yeah, I'm going to start some more seeds today, so we might get some footage of that for you. Um, but yeah, the weather's been nice, as in nice temperature for starting seeds, especially some cooler weather stuff I want to get started. Um, so yeah, we'll show you what we start a bit later today. But yeah, it's starting to rain again now. So, I might go have some smoker. All right, take them in the room, please, miss. See if you and I'm going to do the, the arrow. There's 100 seeds in here. So I'm going to do them in this tray. I'm um, not all of them. I'm going to do some in this tray and some in this one. This one's got the cover because they need light to germinate, so that helps keep them moist. I find they get really good germination there. But because we've got cooler weather and I'm keeping them in here in the room, um, I did it this way last time and I just made sure I kept them moist and they still germinated well. So I want to save most of my tr these trays to do some other stuff I've got coming, like um, snapdragons. So we're going to do yarrow in both of these trays. So I usually put at least a couple of seeds per cell, especially these ones, I can spread them around. 
and um, because these are big cells, I spread them around and I find I can just plant them multiple in one spot and they do fine. These are tiny seeds, so I've got myself a chair. Nice clean hand. Can you see them? There's always some get stuck in the pack. My daughter singing to the dog. Alright, so one. I'll just sprinkle some like this. And then I just water them from the top with the spray bottle. Bring them back in here, miss. They stink. Here's the baby willies in the background. The, um, I'll show you in a minute. Willy really Wagtail, that nest, it's got a nest up on the fan in here. The fan doesn't work. And she nests in every year. And this is her fourth hatching, I think, for this season already. And she like has three or four little ones every time. Wait to have heaps of these before I slob them and I'll use them too. The only trouble I have is the picking them when it's hot. Like in summer, they wilt. Well, I've found the white ones have wilted really easily. But some of them just don't come back from it after they wilt. I tried picking them really late in the afternoon and they still seem to do it. So you can just um, tap them down a little bit if you like. I don't know, I generally just. Water them, water them with the spray bottle. And just come out and do this every day. I might even put some water in the bottom of the tray so it keeps it moist. And generally, they're off in a couple of days. It is a bit cooler at the moment, so it might take a little bit longer. When it's hot, it only takes a couple of days. There's some more water in my bottle. It's still raining lightly outside. I didn't think I need to write another tag, don't I? To put in this tree. And this cover will get nice out too. I cover everything at the moment because nice, terrible. Uh, in this one, I'm going to do these zinnias. Um, I tried direct sowing these and not many of them came up. Um, I'm not sure if it was my fault or what, but so I've got some more and I'm going to try putting them in a tray instead. Um, yeah, I did go away when I came these. Can I stay quiet, please? Um, but we will see how they go in here.
skinny is done. I had to put two in some of them because this is only a 36 cell. That's 50 seeds. That's all right. I'll probably put some water in the bottom there too. Um, Alright, now on to the others. I'm just getting the seed out of this. I just pulled. You see this fluffy part? It is on the top. And I don't know if you can see. Let me get it to focus. I want to focus. Um, see, like little seeds sitting on there. So I'm going to try and get them to come off. Without any of the extra stuff, because I don't want that. Now I got most of them. And then the ones that were already in my hand, I just tipped out of here. And you can still see more in there. Take that out of the road. I should be able to just loosen them. Like that. Majority of them. This is the um, salmon rose I found. Um, the forest and everything. Oh, well, yeah, the forest liked it the best. But I only grew salmon rose, scarlet, and pink. And the pink was like a little dark, more like a burgundy pink. So this year I'm going to be doing more different shades of pinks and some whites, creams. So I know two of the florists that I sell to like more of the pinks and creams and whites moves. So I'm just going to sprinkle these in because they're my seeds, I have no idea. Um, what germination is going to be like? That's the idea. Let's see what they like. I'm putting like anywhere from sort of three to four, five per hole. See how many seeds I've got from that was just from one flower. So if we get good germination on these, I've got like three more heads, four more heads in there. I'm just gonna pop those back in. So they'll get stuck to the edge, but yeah. And we'll see how they go. Pretty sure a terrible memory, but I think these might like a little bit of light to germinate. I'm not gonna like cover them like a lot, I'm just gonna lightly, very lightly cover them. Um I'm gonna be pushing my limits with some of the stuff I'm gonna be planting over the next few weeks might be too early to do it, it might, it's a gamble, but I'm trying to get as much variety for Mother's Day as I can, and which means pushing my limits on planting stuff that probably shouldn't be planted for another month or so. Um, but you never know what the weather's going to do, so I'm just going to take a gamble and hope we can do what it did last year and see how we go. Okay, that's the planting done for today. It's still raining outside. Here goes the next one. I'm going to get this rain for. I might take you out to the garden if it 
breaks in each turn today, but doesn't we might not be out there. We'll see. And all of these in. You can see some are still sitting on top. That's okay. And it'll be fine. As you've probably worked out by now, I'm not the best at being all good and keeping information together. But I try. It's just a time thing. I have enough time in the day to get everything done. I try to be more organised. I've been working on my Mother's Day list and stuff. I uh, try to grow. You'll be seeing that come together over the next... Um, sorry. Over the next uh, few weeks. Because I'll be planting... Pretty much everything over the next few weeks that I'll be trying to grow for Mother's Day. Plus what's already in the garden obviously. Um, some of that will still be flowering, stuff that I'm just planting. But yeah, it's fun and interesting times to come. So, anyway, hopefully I can get you out to the garden a little bit later. And show you how wet it is out there. Because it's really wet. And I think it's going to be a lot wetter over the next couple of days. Hopefully... I hate to say it, but we don't want too much more heavy rain at this point. We need a break, I think. Let me see. In this um, spot here, I don't have any anything planted in this row, but you can see where it's been washing down there, and there's actually water sitting down the other end there, which there's a few zinnias down there. Um, you can see these here are starting to, they're growing really fast, but they're starting to yellow a bit, probably just from all the moisture. Um, Chrissy's have stood up to it pretty well. You can see all the water's been here, a bit sitting in there still. And then out here, this is where it's been running down, and it was, you can still see water sitting in there. It's my daughter's tea set, it was all sitting up here and it's all washed down to the other end there. But yeah, you can still see water sitting in there, and this is very, very soggy still. Um, probably the downside to having it so heavily mulched is if you get rain, it doesn't drain away as well. Um, yeah, but it's all looking okay now. There's just stuff I haven't taken away yet. Um, you can see down the other end there where it's water been sitting down there. But look at the zinnias, man, they're exploded. They're definitely enjoying the rain. It's getting quite windy. It's gusty windy all the time. The fever few's probably enjoying it. Sunflower's definitely enjoying it, but so is the grass. So yeah, not really, I wouldn't say really any damage other than the gum freena in the middle there is sort of starting to fall down. Um, but yeah, hopefully there's not any like damage later. Oh man, that's soggy. Um, can see the yeah I hadn't come out and looked at these but you can probably see through there they're starting to look very droopy let's go have a quick look it's one disadvantage to having them in this garden um yeah see how soggy it is um it's very wet and you can see they're all starting to look quite droopy. Very droopy those ones there. And this one here. So I really hope we don't get too much more rain. There's a broken branch there. So I haven't got to stake in these yet. Um, but yeah, I don't know. This doesn't look good. I didn't realise that it only took a few days of them being wet to make them do this. This one looks terrible. Hopefully they come back from it if we can, if the rain will stop. Um, yeah, not happy. I might have to come in here and pull this mulch away a bit to, um, hopefully it'll dry out a bit quicker. 
Um, anyways, not much I can do about it. Just gonna hope that we don't get too much more rain in this lot and we get a bit of sun soon to dry things out a bit and they can bounce back from it hopefully. So we're looking really good the first couple of days. And a lot of other things like these are growing like crazy. I can know who's just liking it. Basil. Yeah, alright, um, well I think that's about all I have to show, it's very wet, 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 there's going to be a lot of grass tomorrow when it dries out a bit. Alright, that's the update, hopefully we'll have another video not too far away, we do have another one in the planning, just have to put it together. Um, the corn's like in the rain. But yeah, that is all I have for this one. And if you've watched this far, thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.